Hi, this is Julie with Beta Holique, and today I want to show you how to use Lily Pilly stamping blanks. I've got some here that are 25 millimeters, so an inch. I've got some smaller ones as well. So how to use these in conjunction with epoxy stickers, glass domes, and resin. So it's really a great way of altering these components to use in your various jewelry design projects. So I'm going to start with what the easiest technique is, and that is an epoxy sticker. So I have one that's already been applied. And this is what it looks like, and it's very easy to do. I have a sheet here of, very conveniently, one inch epoxy stickers. So I'm gonna peel it off, but I'm gonna be really careful to only touch the sides, not touch the stickum. And I'm gonna put this directly onto my Lily Pilly Blank. You will notice the Lily Pilly Blanks are just ever so slightly larger than the glass domes and the stickers, so you'll wanna just make sure that the sticker is centered when you put it down. You're only gonna get one try at this because you don't want to pull up that stickum once you've applied it. So there we go, it's on. And we're just going to press it down with our fingers and pressing from both sides all the way around. And that sticker is on there very good. And so here's one that I did a while back, you'll see it's not coming off, so they apply really well. Now one thing that's very nice about the stickers is you can actually hole punch right through them. If you're familiar with this, this is actually a hole punch that works really well on metal, and so we have the aluminum here that we're gonna need to punch through. So you're not going to want to go through this way because it's actually gonna mar the sticker. So you'll wanna turn your pliers upside down, decide where you wanna punch, and squeeze. And then sometimes have to just release it a little. And then you see where the little bit of the excess sticker came up. But you actually have a hole now through both the sticker and the aluminum blank, which is very handy. And there's a little bit of extra sticker in there. So I'm just going to take a head pin, push that through, and there you have the hole. So that's the, definitely the easiest method. And that's what that looks like. Now the second method I want to show you is using a glass dome. So with glass domes, you'll often have a choice of your height. So you can see this one has the lowest profile, medium, and then a high profile. So depending upon which one you choose is how magnified your image is going to become. This one here is probably going to be pretty dramatic. So here is with the lower profile one. Here is with the medium. See how that image just got a lot bigger? And then here's the high profile. There you go. And I want to show you with one more color just so you can see again. So low profile, medium profile, and high profile. So I'm going to go with the low profile one. And to apply that, I've got my diamond glaze. And I'm just going to put a dab in the middle. You don't need a lot. You're going to flip this over and press it onto place on top of your Lily Pilly Blank. And press it down so that diamond glaze spreads out all over. And you are just going to leave that undisturbed while it dries. And then it's going to dry and it's going to be like this. And you'll see that this is not going anywhere, and that is a glass dome on top of the Lily Pilly. So I'm just not gonna touch that one, I'm gonna let it dry. And then the third way you can alter these blanks and create a domed appearance is with resin. And I've done that with this one, actually ahead of time I colored the Lily Pilly blank with permanent Sharpie markers. And we have another video on beetaholic.com showing you how to do that. And you can use any type of resin for this. For the purpose of the video, I'm gonna use uh, UV resin, this is Lisa Pavelka Magic Gloss, and it cures with UV light or direct sunlight. I actually have a UV lamp right here I'm going to be using. You could do this e very easily with two-part resin as well, and I might actually recommend that just because we're going to be doming it, and then we actually have to pick it up and put it into the UV light, whereas if you've just got two-part resin, you don't have to move it. So every time you move it, you do risk um, it spilling over. So I've taken a little post-it note, I fold it in half, and it's going to be my tray. So what I want to do is I want to put my Lily Pilly on top of my post-it. 
And now I've got my resin and I'm going to drip it in the middle. And I'm going to try to not do too much all at once. And actually I have a head pin here that I'm using. Use a toothpick as well. And I'm going to use it to spread the resin to the edges. And the surface tension is actually going to be what keeps it from spilling over and actually creating a nice little dome shape. Be patient, don't go too quickly with this because you don't want to break that surface tension. All right. Now I actually feel like I can get a little higher dome on this one, so I'm going to put another drop in the middle. Actually another two, and I'm happy with that. Now I have a couple little air bubbles, so what I'm going to do is I have a micro torch and I'm going to remove my fingers so they don't get in the way here. I'm just going to hit it really quick with the micro torch. You saw how quickly that was because you don't want your work surface to burn, of course. So now I'm going to turn on my UV light and I am just going to go ahead and stick that in there. And that looks pretty flat to me. If yours doesn't look flat, if your surface here, it's a little wobble, but actually I can see that the lily pilly itself is flat. If it's not flat, try to make it so, or try to very carefully use your fingernail without touching the resin and scoot the lily pilly around so that's completely level. Otherwise you'll have a dip in your resin. So I'm gonna put this in the light for 15 minutes and then it's gonna come out and it's going to be solid like this one. So there's three different options for you on using the Lily Pilly aluminum blanks and using them in conjunction with the epoxy stickers, which is very quick and easy, the glass tiles, which is very easy as well, and then a little bit more work is the resin, but it has a really nice uh, effect and finish to it. So let your creativity flow and have fun with these various mixed media components.